Hi, I'm Brad, product specialist with Lineman's Testing Laboratories. I'm also a former arborist, fall protection trainer, and equipment inspector. Working in these industries has shown me the importance of properly inspecting my equipment on a regular basis, from harnesses, to energy absorbing lanyards, to self retracting lifelines, to slings and ropes. Doing so is one step you can take to ensure you're safe when working at heights. At LTL, our factory trained technicians are certified in Miller and North by Honeywell in capital safety products to provide certified inspection and maintenance of fall protection equipment to contribute to your safety while working on the job. Today I will walk you through the process of what happens when you send your harness into LTL for its annual inspection. When you send in your harness for inspection, our technicians inspect it in accordance with CSA Z259.10-06 for full body harnesses, as well as the manufacturer's inspection procedures for that specific item as outlined in their user's manual. Step one is to inspect the harness's hardware, its buckles, its D-rings, its back pad, and loop keepers. Check for any damage, breakage, or distortion. It must be free of sharp edges, burrs, cracks, worn parts, or corrosion. Any PVC coated hardware must be free of cuts, rips, tears, holes, etc. to ensure non-conductivity. Also you must ensure that the buckles work freely and inspect the buckles and all of their springs and other moving components. Step 2 is to inspect the harness's webbing and stitching. For the webbing, you're looking for any signs of frays, cuts, broken fibers, tears, abrasion, mold, burns, or any signs of discoloration. Also watch out for frayed edges, broken fibers, cuts on the webbing surface. For the stitching, you're looking for any signs of pulled stitches, torn stitches, or broken stitching. Always replace the equipment according to the manufacturer's guidelines. Step 3 is to inspect the harness's manufacturer's labels. Labels should be present and legible, and the label should show the manufacturer's name, model number, date of manufacturing, serial number, and a specific CSA standard where applicable. Step 5, the technician logs the inspection date and results in the inspection and maintenance log. If an inspection reveals a defective condition, the unit is removed from service and should be destroyed to prevent from being put back into service. And finally, fall protection equipment should be sent for professional inspection once a year. Fall protection equipment should be inspected prior to each use and after each use by the user, and at least once a year by a competent inspector. Extreme work conditions like harsh environments and prolonged use may require increasing the frequency of inspections. Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed watching the steps that we take when we inspect your fall protection harness at LTL. For further information, please visit ltl.ca.